Hi, I'm Brian from SnowBigDeal.com for the Avalanche Airbag Experts. Today I'm going to show you some of the differences in the airbags. Here at Snow Big Deal, we sell every brand and every model of Avalanche airbags on the market. We sell ABS, the North Face, Snow Pulse, Mammut, the Wary, and BCA. So I'm going to start with ABS. ABS has two lines, the ABS Powder and the ABS Vario. I'll start by showing you the ABS Vario. So this is a docking system where it comes with a base unit that has your airbag, your backpack shoulder straps. It also has the airbags built into this base unit. You also have the ABS Vario attachment. This attachment zips on with that zipper around the edge of the base unit. And so you stick those two together and you have your airbag with your storage. In order to operate the ABS, you need the canister which has nitrogen and you also need the trigger. This is what activates the canister to fill up the airbags. So to activate the airbags, you simply reach up here on your shoulder straps, pull this white trigger, and it's as simple as that. Now the ABS powder is just like the ABS Vario, but the smaller version. So it's smaller, lighter weight, but it also has the docking system, so you can switch between 5 liters or 15 liters for your storage. Whereas the Vario, you can switch from 5 liters all the way up to 40 liters if you want. Now to the North Face. This uses the same system as the ABS packs do. It takes the same canister, the same trigger, but they have a backpack and a vest with an airbag built in. Some things to point out with the ABS and the North Face packs is they have two airbags one on each side, so that if one of them pops, the other one will still give you enough flotation to float to the top of the avalanche. Moving on to the Snow Pulse brand. They have two lines in the Snow Pulse series. One is the Life Bag, and the other is the RAS, removable airbag system. With the Life Bag series from Snow Pulse, the airbag is not only out the back, but it is also built into the shoulder straps, so it creates a horseshoe shape around your head, giving you extra trauma protection around your head, neck, and upper spine. The Snow Pulse brand uses compressed air rather than nitrogen like the ABS, and so it's easier to refill, cheaper to refill, and you can use it over and over for a lot cheaper than you can the ABS. It also makes traveling on airlines much easier. Before deploying the Snow Pulse system, you need to click the handle into the position so that it's can, it can be more easily reached. Simply pull on this. And this is the Life Bag series of the Snow Pulse. Snow Pulse also has the RAS series, which stands for Removable Airbag System. They put that in their vest and a couple of other packs. The benefit to having the RAS is you can remove the airbag system completely from the pack so that you can use it for inbound skiing or as a summertime backpack or vest. Unlike the Life Bag series, the Snow Pulse RAS series does not form the horseshoe shape around your head. It is just out the back. as a big pillow behind your shoulders. Next is Mammut. Mammut is the same company as Snow Pulse, so they both use the same compressed air canister. Mammut also utilizes the RAS system, so you can remove the airbag from any of the Mammut airbag packs and put in a different pack that is also compatible with the RAS. So now I'm going to show you what the RAS system looks like out of the Mammut pack and the Snow Pulse packs with RAS. Next is the Wary, also known as Abbey Vest. The Wary utilizes a compressed air canister, so it's also cheap and easy to refill. The Wary has an Abbey pack and also an Abbey vest. I'm wearing the Abbey vest. Very comfortable, slim design, storage in the front and the back. To deploy the Abbey vest, simply pull on the handle. Next is Backcountry Access, or BCA. They have the float airbags in sizes 22 or 32 liter. BCA also uses compressed air to fill their canisters. Super cheap and easy to refill. BCA airbags also come out behind the user. Now that you've seen what all the airbags look like when they're inflated, 
there are a few things to consider when purchasing an airbag. The first thing to consider is how much storage space am I going to need. They are all rated a number, and that is the amount of storage space in liters that that backpack will hold. For example, the ABS systems, they all have 170 liters of, of airbag flotation volume, but the difference in sizing is in the storage pack. For example, a 5 liter storage will not hold nearly as much as a 40 liter storage. Another thing to consider is do I need extra protection around my head? If so, if I don't normally wear a helmet, I may want the snow pulse with the added trauma protection up around my head and neck. Another thing to consider is what do I want in my canister? If you use the ABS canisters, nitrogen has certain benefits over using compressed air, but these are very difficult to fly with in the United States. The TSA does not allow this canister to be transported on their aircraft. On the other hand, a compressed air canister can be emptied. You can remove the top completely so that the TSA can shine a flashlight and see that there's nothing in the canister, and then you can get a refill at your destination. So the compressed air canister is easier to travel with, but the nitrogen can perform better in extreme conditions. Another difference besides traveling is that the ABS canisters need to be sent back to Snow Big Deal to get refilled. This may cost $40 plus any hazardous materials fees. Whereas a compressed air canister may easily be refilled locally. We have some adapters that you can use. One goes to a scuba tank. If you have your own scuba tanks or you can go to a dive shop and use this adapter to easily fill up the compressed air canisters. It's a lot cheaper than the ABS canisters. We also have a fire department adapter. So you can take your air canister to the local fire station and have the firefighters fill the canister for you. You may want to check with them before you purchase this product though to see if they can help you by filling it. Please be cautious if you're using compressed air. It can be very dangerous if you don't have the proper training. We recommend that you send your air canisters back to Snow Big Deal to have the professionals fill your canisters up. If you do have them filled locally, you need to have the proper refill kits. Some of the canisters require a puncture disc to refill the canister. Others require an O-ring to be replaced. So please make sure you have the proper refill kits before you try to refill your canister. So in review, there are a couple of things to keep in mind when selecting an airbag for purchase. First thing is do I want a dual airbag system or just a single airbag? Second thing to consider is how much storage space do I need in the storage compartment of the pack? The third thing is do I need extra trauma protection up around my head and neck? And the last thing is do I want a nitrogen canister or a compressed air canister?